Hi, hi, Crystal here. Welcome to another video with the Interactive Immersive HQ. A little while ago, I did a, a few videos on uh, doing point clouds using tops. And this is actually like my, my favorite method of doing like particles, point clouds, um, making sops into chops into tops and then using that to instance. If you miss these vi videos, I can put it in the uh, caption below, but did this like audio reactive uh, point cloud using this like Roman bust um, and also like transitioning to different different um, OBJs uh, using this method. And we're going to do another step in this method of making it more of a particle system. And before I would, I did a uh, noise displaced on it, but now having the noise to affect the actual points um, and using this, using a feedback uh, loop to create this effect. And I am excited to share this with you because it's quite simple, but I think the results are pretty nice. Um, right here, I can show you, I have again, the Roman bust and here this uh, stock teapot model and I can transition between these two and also add more noise, even like adding it to a point where it's not even uh, recognizable, but having these like nice wave curl movements, um, which I think has is very a lot elegant and smoother than the past tutorials that I did with this method. So as always, we'll start with the clean network and I will first put both of the 3D models I want down. I just downloaded this Roman statue from a long time ago, so I have this here. And the next one, I will just use the standard teapot file. So I'll put a file in and if you go to a geometry file and look for it, you should have these stock models already here and I'll have the teapot. Great. I'll just first mess with this first one over here, add a transform. I will tweak a lot of these um, soon, but I will first just shrink this down to 0 0.01 because I know this bus is actually a really big model. Add a sprinkle sop. And in this sprinkle sop, I will increase the number of points by to 10,000. <laughs> and I'll add a null. I'll call this Roman Sprink. I'll change the sop to a chop. Sop to chop. Chop. Sop to chop. And I'll add a chop to top. Great. Um, once we change, we see that it's just like one line. Um, I'm going to change the data format to RGB and this image format to be fit to square. And if I click on the middle middle mouse button, I see the size is 100 by 100. Great. I'm going to do the same thing on the teapot. So I'm going to add a transform. I can copy and paste this, but it's also a good practice to just like do it again. Um, I will mess with the the uniform scale. I know I'm going to have it be 0.25. Sprinkle. Sop. And increase this number of points to also be 10,000. And add a null. And I'll call this E pot sprink. Yay. Um, sop to chop. And then a chop to top. Same thing, data format to be RGB and image to fit to square. Cool. And the middle mouse click on this one to make sure they're same size. Sometimes if you the sprinkles is like, if they're not the same, you'll notice that the size will be different and to have it smoothly trans, uh, switch between the two, they need to be at the same resolution. So check that. I'm going to go this back to 10,000. 
I will add a switch. You can also do a cross top, but I like to use switch. But if you're using a switch, make sure this blend between input is on. And for now, I'm gonna just add a null. I'm gonna call this a um, inst position. Um, just so we can start seeing this in a point cloud and then we can mess with making it move and transition and have like this this um, feedback loop. Let's make a render network. So I will add a sprinkle, uh, not sprinkle, I'll add a sphere. And the sphere I'm going to make it really tiny because this is going to be what's instance onto the model. So I am make this like 0 0.008. Copy. Paste this a few times. Actually, I'm wrong. I'm going to make it 0 0.00. Wait. Yeah. No, I'm right. Three zeros. Close then. Awesome. Um, geometry comp. Add a camera and add a light, and then a render top. Awesome, awesome. We don't see anything right now because the particle or the sphere is just like one tiny, tiny dot, so we don't see it. Um, I add a null after this, and I'm gonna call this out and have this to be I like to be a capital. And I'm gonna have this to be um, viewer active so we can see what's gonna happen. So this geometry, I'm gonna add an instance on the instance tab. I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna drag this instance position into the translate op and make it to be R G B. So cool, we first see a solid bust. Great, let's kind of adjust this so we can have it more full frame. Um, I'm gonna just first add a constant material on this. So it will just be brighter white or more. Um, and I will move the camera. It's more center and let's switch this to a teapot to kind of compare. Okay, yeah, it's like that. Okay, I think I can make the bus even a little bit less small. So what if I do oh, too big? 0 0.015 or 0 0.012 and switch between these two. Nice. Yeah. I'll make the teapot maybe just a little bit higher, just as they great, awesome. I'm gonna add a background to this. Uh, after the render top, I'll add a transform and this background color uh, 0001 and comp over background, I'll turn this on. So let's make this move. Uh, move all this render network stuff a little bit further down. And I'm gonna drag this instant position a little further down because we're gonna do um, some magic between here. <laughs> I'm gonna add a null just in case, like if I want to change a model, pipe it in, then I can just like change put it in right here and I'm gonna call this the um, I'm gonna call this the point clouds. Point cloud. Right. Um after this, I'm gonna add a feedback. 
And then we're going to make a feedback loop. So add as feedback. Then after this feedback, I'm going to add a noise. It's like, what's happening over here? So this noise has two inputs. I'm going to pipe in to both of the inputs. And we can play with the different types, but I did a Perlin 3D GPU. And I'm going to decrease this, this uh, amplitude. And I'm going to increase this period to really high. And... Um, we kind of see it all the way far over here. And this transform, I'm going to make this abs time dot frame. And uh, make it really small, so time zero, zero, one. You see this moving. Cool, this kind of like <laughs> moved the bus all the way over there. Um, we can move this back later, but let's continue doing this loop. Um, we have this noise, great. If you want, you can also copy this to the X and, uh, X and Y for additional movement, but we'll kind of play with this noise a little bit more later. I'm gonna add a add, add um, top, and a pipe in the point cloud top to the first input and point the noise in the second input. And I'm gonna drag, uh, put this into the instant position. Great, we don't, it disappeared. Um, let's drag this instant position to the feedback. I'm gonna fast forward this so you don't know, see me struggle to get this model in frame. Great, okay, cool, got the model. <laughs> and um, so you see the switch, I switch between these two. Awesome, let's add, uh, let's make this bus actually a little bit higher. And then you kind of can play around with this noise. Um, you can increase the amplitude. What if you decrease the exponent? You can connect these parameters to um, audio. So you can have it to be like audio reactive through this. Um, let's do, let's add a feedback. I like to use the one in the palette that's already done. I'm gonna decrease this feedback and add a bloom. Let it glow a bit. Great. And what else? Little things. Let's tweak this a bit more. The exponent higher. Make this quite small. Three spread. Um, I'm going to add an LFO to switch between these two modes and type to be Gaussian, I don't know. So here you have it. We have like these particles that can move more from one model to another. Um, you can control the movement with a noise and it kind of still can create these like organic shapes. And I'm excited to see what you guys do with this. Feel free to tag me and in Intact Immersive HQ. I'll put my handle in the caption below and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. 
If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.